x cubed plus 3x squared plus 9x. Do y'all see that? I took x and I multiplied it to the three things inside the trinomial. Now I'm going to take negative 3 and multiply it. Minus 3x squared minus 9x minus 27. Once again, look. Because those first two signs were different, these two middle terms are canceling each other out. And now I have x cubed minus 27. This is where we would start. So what we need to be able to do is recognize what is the cubed root of x cubed. And what is the cubed root of 27? And since this is a subtraction problem, I need a subtraction sign in this first group. So what's the answer? This would be the answer. So we did okay. We'd start with this and we end with this. All right. But I'm trying to see, I'm trying to let you see how the pattern evolves to recognize why these two signs have to be the opposite of each other. Now, this sign is always plus because we are squaring a number to get that final thing. And if you square a negative, you get positive. If you square a positive, you get positive. All right? Okay. Now, let's start where we're supposed to start. Before you even worry about the problem, you recognize that these are perfect cubes. You know that you're going to have a binomial times a trinomial. We know that this is an addition problem, so the sign in our binomial has to be a plus sign. And the only way to make those middle terms disappear is that this sign has to be minus. And the last sign is always plus. Oh, so if time it'll be a plus on the left? <coughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. No, it's not my birthday. <laughs> Ooh, that smells good. It is good. Is there seafood? No, it's all Mexican. Okay, I thought it smelled like seafoodish type stuff. Okay. Because I'm allergic to shrimp. I didn't know he was trying to kill me or something. Wait, is there shrimp? Is there shrimp in here? Is there shrimp in there? No. Okay. Thank y'all. Bye. Okay. Listen, this first sign is always whatever is in the problem. The second sign is always the opposite. And the third sign is always plus. No matter what. Okay. Now the challenge, we figured out the signs. Now the challenge is figuring out what's the, square, uh, the cubed root of x cubed and 125. Okay. Now, how did we get these numbers in here? Well, first we squared x. Then we multiplied 5 and x together. Then we squared 5. And you have factored a perfect cube. This trinomial will always be prime. It will never be able to be broken down into anything else. Okay? We're going to keep going. You're going to start recognizing the pattern, okay? Can I move? All right. These are perfect cubes. 8 is a perfect cube. X cubed is a perfect cube. And 1 is a perfect cube. Start by focusing on what your signs should be. What should this first sign be, Nicholas June? Minus. Minus. Why? Because that's minus. Because the problem's minus. So what should the second sign be, Nick? Plus. Why? Because it's the opposite of the first. And what's the last sign going to be? Plus. Plus. Why? Because it's always plus. 
Now, what's the next step that I should do, Caleb? Find the cubed roots of 8x cubed. What's the cubed root? Let's take it one step at a time. What's the cubed root of 8? 2. And of x cubed? 8. All right. What's the cubed root of 1? 1. All right. And now it's just following our pattern and filling in the blanks. Wait, what do you do now? <laughs> <laughs> Square, multiply, square. Square, multiply, square. You always square, multiply, square. You always square, multiply, square. So the challenge is getting your signs right and making sure these numbers are correct. Because after that, you simply square, multiply, square. Every time. Did you steal my marker? It just disappeared. No, that's the uh, that's the dryer or something. Okay. Let's look at another one. Ooh. I don't know if we're ready for this one yet. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Are those perfect cubes? No. no. Yeah, yeah. Yes. As long as the exponent can be divided by 3. Or say it another way. If the exponent is a multiple of 3, then yes, it's a perfect cube. Okay, so all right, we can do this. Hurley. Since I heard you saying how much you hate my class. <laughs> I saw what he said. Oh, okay. All right, well, since you, since you love my class, let's work on our signs first. What's the first sign that goes in that? Why? Because it's a subtraction problem. Okay, so what's the second sign? Right, because it's always the opposite. And the last sign... Because it's always addition. Nick. Oh, you could divide it by three to find out what the. Uh, For x, yes. Thing. Yes. So, Nick, what is the cube root of x to the sixth? X, uh, uh, no, x squared. X squared. And what is the cubed root of 64? <coughs> Someone, anyone? Four. Four. All right, so now what are we going to do? Say the three words. Square, multiply, square. Square the first term. Multiply the two terms together, not worrying about the sign. Was that your question? And then square the last term. Square. Multiply, square. Now, the trinomial will never be able to be factored any further. But the binomial might be able to. What's x squared minus 4? It's the difference of perfect squares. So this can be broken apart even further. 
That's x plus 2 times x minus 2. 